in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 3rd of april monday of the holy week on april 3rd we remember saint francis of paola a hermit and founder of the order of minims died at the age 91 Saint Francis of Paola was born on March 27, 1416. He made pilgrimages to Rome and Assisi in his teens. He was so inspired by these trips that he became a hermit living in a cave near Paola, Italy. Before he turned 20, he already had many followers. His following became so large that he founded the Hermits of St. Francis of Assisi, later named the Franciscan Order of Minim Friars, to show humility in the family of God. Francis was a well-known prophet, miracle worker, and reader of hearts. He was so celebrated that he was summoned to help King Louis the Eleventh of France prepare for death. While at the royal court, Francis helped to restore peace between France and Brittany. and friends and spain saint francis died on april 2nd good friday of 1507 pope leo the 10th canonized saint francis of paola 12 years after his death in 1519 saint francis of paola pray for us Brothers and sisters in this holy week in the first reading we will be reflecting on the servant songs taken from prophet Isaiah today we have the first song of the servant of the lord let's pay attention to it a reading from prophet Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 7 behold my servant whom i uphold my chosen in whom my soul delights i have put my spirit upon him he will bring forth justice to the nations he will not cry aloud or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street a bruised reed he will not break and a faintly burning wick he will not quench he will faithfully bring forth justice he will not grow faint or be discouraged till he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his law thus says god the lord who created the heavens and stretched them out who spread out the earth and what comes from it who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it i am the lord i have called you in righteousness i will take you by the hand and keep you i will give you as a covenant for the people a light for the nations 
to open the eyes that are blind to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon from the prison those who sit in darkness the word of the lord thanks be to god here is my servant whom i uphold brothers and sisters from early times the church saw jesus as the embodiment of isaiah's suffering servant he is strong enough to establish justice but does not display his power in ways we might expect he doesn't shout to make sure he is heard he doesn't confront or outs his people's oppressors he is gentle with the weak the timid the hesitant he achieves his victory not through force but through self sacrifice as we enter into holy week let's fix our attention on this humble servant Let's pay close attention to Jesus and watch what he does. Let's listen to what he says and when he remains silent. If we observe closely, we will grow in our understanding and appreciation of how much he loves us. A dimly burning wick he will not quench isaiah chapter 42 verse 3 at the last supper jesus told the disciples all of you will have your faith in me shaken but he did not reject them or condemn their shaky faith instead he promised to go before them to galilee giving them hope that even if they fell away they could be restored a bruised reed he will not break isaiah chapter 42 verse 3 when peter slept in the garden of gethsemane jesus admonished him to watch and pray so that his willing spirit could overcome the weakness of his flesh he did not become impatient with peter or heap criticism on him instead he focused on peter's willingness and told him to pray for the grace to overcome temptation he will not cry out nor shout Isaiah chapter 42 verse 2 When he stood before Pilate Jesus did not answer his accusers or prepare an argument for his defense He did not cry out that he was innocent He accepted condemnation knowing he was doing it for each one of us and Pilate was amazed This week my dear friends let's accompany Jesus through his passion as we see how he interacts with the people along his way let's ask him to show us the compassion in his heart for them but also for us stay close enough to see how this humble and suffering servant shows the love that will lead him all the way to the cross jesus you are god's perfect servant help me to stay close to you this whole week amen brothers and sisters the psalm today 
focuses on trust in God. Even in the most difficult situations, there is no need for fear if one waits for the Lord with courage. God will bring light and salvation to those who trust in the Lord. This speaks both about Jesus' trust in his Abba Father as he faces his impending passion and our trust in God as we face difficult times. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When those who do evil draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Brother Santosh Menezes, Carmelite, Cecilia D'Souza from Mangalore, Edwin Stephen Machado from Mira Road, Mumbai, Jane D'Souza from Borivili, Mumbai, Kevin Leon Krasta from Koramangala, Bengaluru, Asses Tauro from Gurpur, Kaikamba, Francis Pinto from Binder, Mumbai, Janisha Fernandez from Medrahalli, Bengaluru, Stephen Andrade from Gurpur, Kaikamba. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. And we pray for the departed soul of John Pinto from Lower Bendur, Mangalore. May the Lord grant him eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.